Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. Yeah, Ethereum sees a bit of a pullback today, but there isn't anything major yet that would, um, let's say, threaten the idea that we are still in the B wave here that we discussed in the last few days. So the idea is that uh, we're obviously here in this wave 4 correction. Yep, the wave 4 could be complete, absolutely, but there is just no evidence for it. Yeah, there is no evidence. It is possible. It is a potential, but you need a crystal ball for anything else. Okay, I can tell you which levels need to hold to keep, you know, so that the price can can grind higher in the white wave count and what the invalidation points are. However, when that would be the actual breakout, I mean, in the white count here, and you, you'll see it as a diagonal pattern here, assuming the wave four might be complete, the way five would be a diagonal and it would be, um, yeah, it would just be a corrective structure basically, right? I mean, no, it's a five wave move, but the sub waves are all corrective. There is a possibility, but it's not very reliable. I find it more probable that this is just a B wave rally. But then again, it's not like a 90, 10, right? So 90% for the yellow count, 10% for the white one. No, no, no. So probabilities are fairly balanced. But because any upside has been corrective from here, not impulsive, I have to favor the yellow count even just for risk management purposes, right? So I find that more useful than highlighting to you, oh, yeah, we are already in the way five. Like people will go all in and whatever. And then if we come down, because that's what B waves love to do. They love to go high. They love to extend. They love to trick people. And then obviously it breaks down as a C wave. <laughs> so, you know, that's sort of what, um, that's sort of what we're tracking here. So the white count, yep. I mean, it's possible the way four is in, then the move up from the 20th of March low to the 26th of March high was a wave one. The pullback was a wave two. We're now basically in a third wave rally, and that would be an ABC structure as well, just like the wave one was an ABC structure. Then we would get the wave four and the wave five would also be an ABC structure. I track something very similar on the Bitcoin chart. I think just that the colors are <laughs> swapped on the Bitcoin chart. Um, yeah, and, and then, <clears throat> I mean, if the white count plays out, the price should in the third wave reach ideally $4,140 or higher. Uh, and then the wave five should probably take us to 4,327 or higher. In the yellow count, we wouldn't see five waves. In the yellow count, we would only see a three wave rally and it would technically be enough sufficient for the price to just reach 3,857. And um, that's sort of, that would be ideal, you know, to get this sort of ABC structure completed in wave B in yellow. Seems like in this C wave, one more high is missing. I mean, I can only see three waves. The question is also, I mean, is this a one, two or is it rather here a smaller one, two? So that the bottoming structure isn't, isn't very clear because we have this deep pullback. I tend not to trust these. So I just have to say that be, be a bit careful with that, but the support area should capture it. So the idea is that now like Bitcoin as well, a wave four pullback might've started. And this way forward might reach uh, 3,522 maybe, you know. I have, however, added the support area that incorporates both the white and the yellow counts. So, you know, for the, for the yellow count, the price should really not break below 3,398. Well, if it does, it's likely at least uh, it could be the white count still because here the B wave could come down a little lower. But below 3,313, it becomes more probable that we're already in the C wave down. So again, for anybody who's new on this channel, it's important, I think, to recognize that we're just moving in corrective structures. One more high could be enough to complete the B wave rally, and then we possibly could dip back into the orange support region. So all I try to say is, it's not a given that the correction is already over. Yeah, it's not, you know, just green candles don't don't complete a, a correction. You know, it, it's a bit more complex than that. Important is, and that's what really matters for most traders, do the do the bulls turn up before the price breaks below the critical 50% retracement level? It's at $2,976. I explained that also yesterday in detail. So that's really the key level here, the key support level. I mean, if that level breaks, then we have to change the daily chart a little bit. Okay, it would not be bearish, but we would have a lower support area and certainly the more direct pathway to the upside 
would have to change and would be challenged. So in the very short term at the moment, all eyes need to be here on the FIB levels, on the support region. Doesn't look finished yet, the correction, not quite maybe. Um, and the support area is between 3,313 and 3,522, whereas the line in the sand between yellow and white counts is 3,398. That's my update about Ether. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.